We're gonna let the beautiful Missy e. Maddie introduce herself to all our lovely fans. <laughs> yeah. To all that is locked in right now to 106 Live Radio.com. My name is Imani Ray. The gal come again. What is it like for you to be on stage, you know, with thousands of people or hundreds of thousands of people just looking at you doing your own thing? It's electrifying. <laughs> the legendary. There you go. Inner Circle. Being on the same stage with legends like Inner Circle and stuff. You, that's it was amazing. Absolutely. I was like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, hey, stay calm. Do you still get nervous when you go on stage? No, I don't get nervous. Really? But No, I don't get nervous. But I dig get nervous when it's time for me to DJ for the first time. Right. I couldn't feel my legs. <laughs> Is it different from your natural demeanor, like who you are just on a regular Very basis? Very different. Than the like, I you are just on chill, calm. I don't like to talk. Like, a lot of people wouldn't even let meet me on a regular basis. They wouldn't even know that I perform. Hey guys, it's Imani Ray, and this one is called How You Lie. How You Lie, How You Lie, So Good. This is your Productions. Imani Ray. We go come again. Yeah. Here's a brand new bag. This is right out of here. What's new? Brought to you by. Who is this? Gigi Bang. 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 Thank you very much for having me once again. And um, we, let's talk. Brandon Sanders. Brandon Sanders. Uh, tell us about yourself, Brandon. Uh, senior, graduating senior at Morehouse College. Okay. Uh, I major in sociology and a double minor in journalism and criminal justice. A lot of people are just finding out that I, you know, I, I have a dual career. I'm also a college professor. So wow. I've been teaching for about 11 years. Wow. You know, I teach at Morehouse. I'm at Clark Atlanta and I'm also full time at Southern Crescent Technical College. So That's huge. I teach criminal That's justice huge. courses legal courses and sociology courses but legal based sociology courses and Brandon was a student in a few of my classes there at Morehouse we can look at those tragedies and say were these officers properly trained how could we prevent this from happening again it goes directly back, back to, to the training. training training it goes back to training. recruitment yes you need to make sure that you have proper people who are mentally sound to carry a firearm no how to understand when to use a firearm. If you approach me with your fist, I cannot approach you with my gun and shoot you. Right. There's a force continuum that law enforcement has, they have to understand that. The evidence shows that us as citizens that these men are really being killed. Well, I definitely need you in one of my criminal justice classes, <laughs> certainly. So here's the thing, right? Because you just, what you did, was you just, you just combined everything. Yeah, right? I did. So, I did, really. So, I did. So here's I did. the thing. So, and see, that's what I'm saying, right? And that's why it's so important to have these type of dialogues. Right. It's not a, yeah. This is not a combo meal. You can't lump everyone together. Right. Judges do not control police departments. Judges don't tell police officers, hey, this is your patrol area. That's for a police chief. There's the three stages of the criminal justice system. If a police officer wants an arrest or search warrant, then they go to the courts level and get a arrest warrant. or search warrant from a judge. This is not a black problem. This is a societal problem. And often, like even when you see a video of a you know a black person dying on Facebook, you say, "Oh, that's that's their problem. That's not a societal issue." You know, here here we go again. You know, it's like what what real empathy is being had.